hello everybody and welcome back to Skyblock, brought to you by Mind Saga. Oh, we're going to have some fun today, guys. Uh, welcome back, and thank you for tuning in again. I do appreciate it. Uh, so what are we going to do today? Today, let's see, uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're, we're gonna harass a treasure golem. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, PV-10. These little PV things, by the way, those are like little private vaults that you have. So I've got a treasure golem egg here and we're gonna bring this guy to life today and I've learned a few things about him and I want to perform some science on him at the very least we should get some very uh, some very good loot from it but I want to try to uh, abuse the game and break things because you know that's what I try and do most of the time and I want to see what, what kind of trouble we can get into with that guy and see see if we can find some loopholes uh, and then after that guys we we so we started out right we made our cactus farm and Things were great, and we were happy. And then, like, a day later, we were like, oh, the cactus farm? Oh, that's so last week. And we outgrew the cactus farm. Then we started stacking spawners, right? We got creepers. We were happy with them. Then we got Enderman. We were happy with them. We threw some uh, zombie pigmen on top, and then we were pretty happy, right? We got a nice little triple spawner set up here. Look at, all, look at them. But even that, we, we it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. We had to upgrade... To the, to the good old IGs, the Iron Golems, okay? And we got a nice little setup going here, keeping it in the same chunk, so they slide over here. We did this last episode here. You can see these guys push up against the glass, and whoop, all the way down. And all this stuff is great. All this loot is automatically being collected. I just stay in here and get rich. And uh, I, I think it's time to take even the next step now, okay? There's two steps I want to do here. Uh, one of them is, and that's the big one, we're probably not going to get to this one today, is to go with Villager Spawners, okay? Villager Spawners... Are, if you look in the shop here, villager spawners is pretty much it, right? 4.8 million. They cost four, yeah, four times what an iron golem spawner costs, and the loot they drop sells for. So they're basically just an, a four to one markup of iron golems. This is the standard for all high end plots: is how many villager spawners you have. I'm pretty sure at this point we're only gonna like we're only gonna stack villager spawners unless we get some for free. But these, this is where we're gonna put all of our money into those. Uh, but like I said, we'll probably get to that tomorrow. I think what I want to get to today is, besides the treasure goal, of course, is these guys. I want to set up six or, I mean, eight, <laughs> eight blaze spawners, and we're going to play with minions and get the minions killing the blaze because blaze, as you know, drop double XP. I think this, I got an idea for how I want to merge blaze spawners and villagers together that i think might make like the ultimate afk station but before we get rolling here there is one thing i do need to cover and that is last episode we we we, we uncovered uh this guy here the fly perk okay and i kind of hinted like eh, it's for you guys to decide you know what we got the fly perk okay we earned it fair and square okay it's time is I need to fly. This game is meant to be flying, so we're going to take this thing, and I'm just going to, because I already have it, because I'm a YouTuber, so, eh, right? There we go. There goes about $15 million right there, okay? And that's what I'm doing. Instead of selling it, I'm basically just saying, like, I just cashed it in, and we just, we're just using it. So now, I'm going to fly. Hope you guys are okay with that, because this is not Vanilla Skyblock, obviously. It's meant to be, you meant to have fly here, so it's just going to make things move along so much, so much faster. And we're still going to be able to do all the fun science that uh, that we that we need to do here. So uh, fly is on. Oh, and by the way, you can see we're rocking a cool 80 million now, which is not too bad. Not too bad. I got lucky enough to get uh, three of these goblin ranks, which I guess you could like right click on and it gives you a bigger rank. I don't know. There's like mages and wizards and sorcerers and legends. And I'm obviously a, a YouTuber over there. I don't know what goblin does for you. I know nothing about it. But what I do know is on the auction house, let's see if I can find, yeah, goblin right there, bam, 50 million. <laughs> I think I sold two of them. Yeah, there's a 50 mil, 50 mil. Let's go to the, let's go to the, the new page here, see what we got. There's a, there's a fly perk for 10 million. It's a 400 by 400. Where's the nearest, the goblin ranks. Okay, so 25, 25 mil right now, okay? Now here's the thing. I could put up a piece of, uh, I could put a piece of stone on the auction house for 40 million and someone would buy it just because I'm Tango and they want to do that and they want to give me money. <laughs> I have donations turned off and stuff. Hello, Mr. Golem. Uh, so uh, here's the thing. I want to sell it, but I, I, I gotta be fair. All right. So we're going to do AH sell and we're going to go 30. We're going to go a cool 30 million. That's one, two, three, one, two, three, bam. And if we sell this done, uh, we'll have what? hundred and we'll put, we'll be pushing 110 mil. And we're going to use all that money to, uh, we're going to just liquidate it all and, and buy assets and, and upgrade our enterprise here. Um, and I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. It's all about making the money to spend the money. So let's get started with, let's see here. I want to get started on this guy now, Treasure Golem, okay? He's going to be some fun. Uh, look how fun. With these spawners, by the way, like the, the first time, uh, uh, 
Uh. <laughs> How's it going? I did not think that they spawned on chickens. Or were supposed to. <laughs> okay, well that's funny. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, just the radius at which these things, uh, the radius at which these things, uh, spawn away from the spawners. At first it was like they seemed to be right clustered around it, but now I am seeing some spawn right out at the edges, which makes me believe it, they did kind of reserve some of the, or not reserve, uh, save, I guess, some of the original spawn mechanics up, you know, plus or minus four blocks or so. Uh, okay, anyways, blah, 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 here we go. We've got a treasure golem, okay? Now, what this guy is, here's what I know. I've never spawned one yet, okay? So we're gonna be learning as we go, but here's what I know. It is a baby zombie. Uh, he obviously doesn't attack you because nothing on the server attacks you. Uh, every time you hit him, supposedly, I don't know, this is what I've heard. Every time you hit him, you get loot, like good loot, okay? And then he dies after just like a few hits. So there's a little bit of science here that I think I want to perform on this guy. Let the science begin. All right, first thing we're going to do is make a little holding area for this little critter because we don't want him running around being all crazy fool face. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Super high tech stuff there, right? We're going we're gonna to drop his bits in this hole here. And, oh wait, hold on. I forgot. Science test number one. I almost forgot. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, give, me, give me a couple of these guys. Confirm. All right, I want to see if snowballs hurt him. And if he drops, because snowballs don't lie, I shouldn't say that. I want to see if he drops his loot from snowballs, because obviously snowballs don't hurt anyone. So if, so what I'm trying to figure out <laughs> is, does he, does he drop his loot when he's hit or does he drop his loot when he takes damage? And I'm trying to figure out if there's any kind of infinite loop that I can break to just get loot forever. Because that would be fantastic, obviously. <laughs> and I'm 99.9% .9 sure I'm not going to, but it's going to be fun to try. So, here we go. Get spawn him. Okay, treasure boss has been spawned. Purchase boss eggs. Okay, he's just a, he's just a little guy. Look at him. All right. Um, okay, he has 12 hit points down at the bottom there. You can see 12 HP. So, let's give him a little jump snowball to the face. Okay. Oh, that took two health off him? What? Did I get loot? I didn't get any loot. What the heck? Hold on. There's nothing. Nothing. Did I did I just get gypped? Did I get gypped? Hmm, okay. Test number one was a was a whopping failure. Let's move on to test number two. Test number two, obviously, is uh, something I'm sure many people have thought about. We're going to try to heal this guy now. Uh, let's see. I've got... <laughs> this, uh, my whole UI is messed up. It's trying to figure out, like, it's, is it, it wants, like, a, a blaze powder, which obviously doesn't exist in 1.89. All right, we got awkwards. I need... I need a... One of these guys. Yes. Confirm transaction. Throw that in there. And I think that's going to cook down to a piddly widly little... Uh, Harm potion, I believe. And we're gonna throw a harm potion. Oh yeah, I need to make it splash. Uh do I have any gunpowder? I don't think I have any gunpowder. Do I have any gunpowder? I mean I know I have like creepers every every which way every day there, but I don't think I have any <laughs> I don't I don't wanna go too far from this guy because I don't know if he despawns or not. That would make me very sad if he did. But you know what? We're just gonna buy a piece of gunpowder. Because we can. So eh, there we go. Alright, we need to do this to make it splash horrific and go. Po no, not poison a potion. Oh, right, I gotta do this first. Right? Yes. Poison, then fermented spider eye makes harm, uh, and then we'll gunpowderificate it. Here we go. Splash potion of harming. That's probably gonna hurt me, but I really don't care. Uh, all right, treasure golden face, baby zombie man. Let's see. You've got 10 hit points right now. Uh, let's see what this does. Nothing. Nothing at all, huh? Hmm. Let's try it again just to make sure... Just to make sure we want to hit the ground. Yep, that definitely should have healed him, but it didn't. Okay. Hmm. Test number two is out. All right, I have one more test that I can think of. And by the way, if you guys know a way or have a clever idea, I guess we got to figure out how these work. I wish I had more than one of these eggs right now because I want to do one and just see how it works. And then I want to try to try to mess with it. But uh, this one's risky. He may despawn here and I'll be very sad because there's probably a lot of loot from this guy. Uh, but I want to log out. I want to log out and log back in and see if he's still there and see if his health is still at 10. Let's get back in there. 
Here we go. Oh no, he's loose. He's loose. And he has eight health now. He actually took more damage. I do not like this. Uh, okay, I got to do all my normal. Turn the border up. Get myself night vision. Turn on fly now. Okay. I am not liking this at all. I feel like I'm... <laughs> my science is proving uh, negatively impactful. Like, I'm losing loot here, I think. All right, first of all, it's established. You're not going to touch me, right? Hi. You can't pathfind over here, right? Hi, friend. Hi. <laughs> Come on, little guy. Yeah, you're just going to stand there. Okay, Um, I guess punch in the face? How's the punch in the face work for you? You want to punch in the face? Punch in the face. And I got a pick. I lost all that loot. I'm very sad. Punch in the face. What'd I get? Iron Golem Spawner. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this wrong. I lost all that health. Oh, those two hits are wasted. Eh, what'd I get? A note. And eh. A void. Oh, void chest. That's good. Wait a minute. He said zero. He said zero HP. <laughs> Why are you not dead? You have zero HP. You're at six percent. I'm guessing it's like a fraction of a health. Interesting. I wonder if we could... Hmm, what did we get here, by the way? 250,000! Nice! Iron Golem Spawner and an unlimited cell wand. We already have one of those, but that will sell nicely. And the void chest is good. Okay, uh, hang on here. Come here, buddy. I got I got one more thing I want to I shove in your face. Come here. Eh. No, I probably missed with that, but I don't think it mattered. Alright, last hit, buddy. Get over here! <laughs> get out of my business! <laughs> Uh. Oh, and another banknote. Nah. Well, our science proved to be pretty costly, and that's unfortunate. Uh, I think I think during our science we probably lost two good pieces of loot, but we got an iron golem spawner, which is always good. That's 1.2 million, and a void chest, which is that's a lot. That's the big one right there. So that's good. Uh, all right, so let's just throw another one of these stacks on the stack. Bam! There we go. We're up to 24 iron golems. That's good. Uh, all right, I guess, ugh, man, I want another one of those guys now to see what, how it works. Do we have any crates right now? Let me see how we're doing on the crates. We probably got none. We got one. Hit it. Gold blocks. Here we go. Putting the final touches here on our, what will be our new blaze spawning room. Oh, falling. Okay. <laughs> I, I did a little bit of work, a little bit of reshaping things here. Uh, I kind of decided since so much of the game is based on chunks and what you put in each chunk really matters in terms of like hoppers and things like that. I decided to just kind of embrace that, and we're going with... Let me see if I could show you a little bit more here. I'm going with, like, this diamond... Or not diamond, uh... Star... Or what am I even trying to say here? A opposing pattern, I guess you could call it whatever you want to call it. I don't know, there's a word for this. Uh, opposing pattern like this. So, like, purple, purple, and cyan, cyan. And then we have uh, the stone with the purple up there. And here we have the stone with the cyan up there. And then we had white glass for the golems, and red glass for the blaze. I'm going to put a little blaze spawner in here, and... I'm probably going to screw this up because there's some science here that I don't know yet. I don't know how minions work. I'm assuming Blaze, I mean, they're just going to fall because they have no AI, I'm guessing. So we want to figure some of this out here. I want to get going here and I want to get, uh, well, I have eight Blaze spawners. I'm not sure why some are yellow and some are that, but uh, anyway, Let, let's get one minion spawner or one minion spawn egg and an upgrade all minion attack. We got more there if we need them. Uh, and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into here. Um, now, from what I understand, the minions will... It, once I once I upgrade this... So if I don't have this, they stand in one spot and they kill... They kill baddies in the one spot that they're standing in, I think. If I, if I somehow put this upgrade on them, they will now roam the area and kill everything that they can get to. Basically, they just go into, like, crazy, you know, <laughs> psychotic mode and just unleash everything. Uh, and that's what I want, because I want the blazes to just fall here, and I want them to kill them. And I believe they will pick up loot, and you can somehow assign a chest to... Do I have a void chest? I bought I bought a void chest. You can assign a chest to the, uh, to the minion, and everything he picks up will automatically be put in that chest, I think. I think. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's go whammy, a jammy, and a blaze kabammy, I think. Okay, good. They're just kind of sitting there now. Two blazes. I got two blazes out of one spawner. How does that work? <laughs> and then if I have like 50 spawners, you get less. It's like diminishing returns. Okay, they're stacking up now. Look at that. They're already stacking. We got four. Okay, so I... 
Here's the thing. I'm, these things are so much money. I don't want to mess them up. I'm going to, I'm like so terrified. I have no idea how you link them. I have no idea how you upgrade them. There's like an interface. I think we just probably right click on them. I'm probably making this a bigger deal than it needs to be. So let's just plop this guy down. Eh. Oh, I was a little guy. <laughs> that, that is one good looking dude. Look at that. Oh, look at him. He is sexy. <laughs> I love that it's got my face. That's great. Okay. Um, you kill now. All right. Now do we, hold on. Do we right click on him? Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. Minion name. Uh owner Tango. Minion name. Invi uh, items and minions inventory. Current mode idle. Settings and pickup. Uh uh let's try settings. Settings. Select armor. Oh, I can dress him up. Oh man, nice. I don't know that it really matters. Uh we'll give him we'll give him iron, because why not? Does that matter? I don't think it matters. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, user access. I have no idea. Tango. Oh, I guess this is if I had other people on my island, they could come in and and modify it, and mess with this business. I guess I don't know. And then edit name. Oh no, the pressure's on. Oh man. Uh, we're gonna call him uh, uh, little wee man. <laughs> there we go. Uh, why is he giving me this? Min uh, piece of paper. Wait, what? Done? Oh, he's a little wee man! <laughs> he's just a little wee man! Okay, now what else do we have? That's it for names. Let's go back. Uh, information, little wee man. Players with access one. Owner named Tango. Uh, pick up. No! No, no, no! Did he stay? Oh, he's not a little wee man anymore! Okay, we don't want to... Pick up doesn't mean what he picks up. It means actually pick him up. Alright, let's, let's put him back down there. Do that, do this. Do no, and then do this and that. And he will still be a little wee man. <laughs> An exclamation point. Okay, uh, items in minions inventory. Item in hand. Uh, the item the minion is holding should be put below. Right there, I guess. Like, can I, I probably give him a show? Okay, click to collect XP. Okay, so he picks up XP, and that's why we're dealing with Blaze. And I can just come in here and be like, and it gives me the XP, I think. Link chest. That's what we want to do in a second here. I'll put an item in his hand in a second. I want to see what else we got here. Uh, current mode, idle. Current mode, attack mode, mine mode. All oh, right, you can have them dig for you. Farm mode, cell mode. Load chunks, what? Oh, these must be later on. Attack all mode. Uh, do I take this now? Oh, these are the upgrades? Do I, do I, can I? How about that? No? How about this? No? How do I how do I upgrade him? Do I, let's try upgrading this guy with attack all mode. Here we go. Right click. Bam. Attack all mode upgraded. Attack all mode. He's amazing now. <laughs> okay. Uh, now he's on attack all mode. Why are you not attacking all? Do I need to give him a weapon? Does he need a weapon? Uh, do I have any in here besides the one I have? Uh, I'll give you this. Oh, maybe I should actually give him... A good one? Meh? Uh, let's give him this one and see what happens. Maybe, I just want to see if, I don't care about swords. I'll, I'll find a better one if I need to. Uh, okay, items inventory. The item in the minion's hand should be put below. Let's try that. Okay, the little wee man's got a sword. Look out. Hi, 28 blazes, buddy. Get going, get to work. Why you not, settings, armor, user access, edit name, no. Why is he not <laughs> kill face? Maybe I need to link a chest first. Let's get let's get the chest linked. Uh, okay, void chest. We're gonna link him right with this guy, right here. And shabam! I have no idea how to do this. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. Without a chest link, this minion cannot collect items. Your current link chest. Click to link chest. Punch a chest to set this minion's chest. I can do that. Punch, chest set. Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! Oh! Okay, and? Oh, they probably sold already. They probably sold. All right. Get him. Get, get him, little wee man! Ah! All right, that's making me way too happy. Okay, now the question is how far... Like, what can he, like, once I have a hundred spawners here, it doesn't seem like the, the size of the stack matters, so 
Wow, this is amazing. Okay. And is it, I want to see, I'm going to watch in here and see if I can see. All right. Get him, boss. Get him. <laughs> little wee man. Uh, little wee man. Um, he's struggling. Come on. Is this lag or what's happening right now? Come on, get him. Why are you not wrecking, wreck face? Oh, he's, he's stalking his prey. <laughs> okay, and nothing. Didn't see it go in there. Hmm. All right, so I have verified that the, that they go. You can see them right there. Blaze rods are going in and being sold. Sometimes it's hard to catch them. Here's the problem, though. This little guy, little wee man, you got to be right next to him for him to work. Otherwise, he, he goes into, like, stealth mode and he starts, like, going super slow. Like, check this out. If I go over here, I'm pretty far from him right now. I am still in the same chunk, okay? Just to clarify that it's not chunk-based. It's distance-based. Watch. He's, like, he's not attacking, not attacking, still not attacking. Still not attacking, but it's like once I get in range, yeah. See now he's processing, but he's just like he gets like a, he gets like one tick, and that's it. Uh, uh, uh. And I have to get like super close to him. And once I do, then then he's like, all right, let's go. I'll go. Well, maybe not. Why is he not? Okay, there he goes. I guess it's just weird. It's this, the, and it's again, it's another like performance uh, tweak or whatever. So. Here's what I think I want to do. As fun as it is for him to be in attack all mode, I think I want to put him in normal mode. I want to put some water in here and push push the blaze this way and then push him this way. And I'm just going to have the minion stand right here. Basically, all the blaze will come to him and he just give him a little choppy choppy in the face and we should be good. So let's do that by doing this, I think. Is there... Let's steal, steal the water from over here. And do get it going over here. Let's see. Good, 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 and good. Okay. Now I thought water hurt Blaze, but I, I guess not. I I don't know. I thought that I thought that was supposed to be a thing. Uh okay, so now let's see here. Look at him, he just trucks he's got like Depth Strider 47. Look at that guy. <laughs> now here's the question. Do I yeah, I probably want to raise this up a bit. How many blocks did I leave behind here? Just should I leave? There's only two. So, alright, I gotta... Wait, what? Oh, those are slabs I'm using. What am I, what am I doing? I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna raise this up one block, I think. Let me get my silk touch page. I'm gonna raise that up, raise the water up, raise all this up so that this column of, of water here can go this way so that little wee man can still stand where he needs to stand and look, and look triumphant in the process. Okay, even better. I just obviously simplified and put water over there, water over there. Now wherever they spawn, they'll just get pushed down into this corner, which is perfect. <laughs> look at him go! He's the best. I love this guy. All right, little wee man, it's time to pick you up. Pick him up. And... Okay, oh, it gives me an egg back. Okay, I don't need the upgrade all mode now, which is good. So, let's see. I want to put... Get out of my way. Go. I want to put a little slabby jabby here so the little wee man, because he's a little short, you know? He's a little short. He can't... He can't really fit, you know, he can't see, so he's got to be able to see well. So, let's put him there. It seems to put him where I am, not where I click the egg, by the way. So, let me stand here. Get out of the way, Blaze Face. How about right here? Okay. <laughs> now, we're going to go settings, we're going to go armor, we're going to give him this, we're going to be that, this, that. Nope. Uh, I want to put him into attack mode. And I'm hoping he will attack things in his square only. Let's see. Oh, I gotta give him a sword too. Uh, this guy right here, there, good. How much XP does he have? Zero. Oh, because I picked him up. Okay, you go back and go in there. Get him, get him, buddy. Get him? How about now? Go, oh, he's not very good at this. Come on, little wee man, you can do it. Why are you not? Does he have to be in the square? Let's break this. And let's put you in. Now let's see if little wee man can get him. Come on. Why are you, why are you not? What does standard attack mode do? He's in attack mode. Should, I, I would think he would attack everything... In the square that he's in. Now it's right in front of him. Come on, swing your sword, little wee man. Click chest, punch chest. Eh. Now get him. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, all right. Now I want to see if. Whoa, where'd that guy go? 
That was weird. He just spawned, and then he's like, poof, gone. I want to see if a guy comes up over here, if little wee men will still get him. Come on, I also covered the roof more and stuff, too, so hopefully that should... Okay. Are you gonna... Are you gonna get him? Oh, look at him go! He's, he's just not even wasting any time. Oh, and he's dead. Okay, good. How's our void chest looking? Excellent. I want to see if one spawns over here. That's really what I want to say. I want to see if a guy ends up there to his right. Okay, nope. It's still going to be in that same spot there. All right, I'm going to watch this for a little bit and see how Little Wee Man does. Okay, yeah, I think I have to rotate Little Wee Man. I want to see if he can point directly at the spawner so that he can swing left and right. There are, I saw a couple guys get like right where I am and he wasn't swinging on that well. So we got to fix that, but check it out. We, we, we forgot. We obviously got to put all the other... Bam, 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 extra bam, eight blaze spawners. Okay, that's going to be good. So now, <laughs> Little Wee Man's going to be doing all kinds of choppificating. Let me get him re uh, recombobulated and pointing kind of at an angle. Oh, look at him go. There we go. Little Wee Man. He's on. He's all. He's got all his bases covered now. No, ain't nobody sneaking up on Little Wee Man now. <laughs> he's at the perfect angle there. This is going to work great now. We got eight blaze spawners there, so he's going to be getting a lot of uh, a lot of XP, and he's going to be selling a lot of rods. So this is the good thing here. I can go items inventory, and you can see he collects XP. Obviously, it's not much. Bam, I got a little bit there. But hopefully with eight spawners, I'm going to stack this up. Obviously, get 20, 30 going here real soon. Uh, he'll be a good source of XP, and I can start selling. Uh, I can do XP shop and sell these things it's all my experience for keys and these keys are basically like more crate keys that have crazy good loot inside them which is which is just awesome uh, but check this out okay i can stand right here now okay in this spot afk i am in this chunk all the cactus are growing all the mob spawners the golems every all the other three business down there they're all active they're all doing their thing little wee man he's, he's doing his thing over here too blaze spawner so this is just like maximum profitability mode right here i love it so uh it's time to get some money going here because next episode, you can see on the right there, we got 112 million. We're going to be investing in a ton. We're going to spend all that money, basically, on village spawners. And I think I've got a pretty interesting idea for how to farm them. But it's got to wait until next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Say hello to little wee man. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments, let me hear from you guys. I would love to, and uh, I'll do my best to respond to you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.